What is up guys, Merc here, bringing you another video. Today's video is going to be a little controversial. Today's video is Modern Warfare Remastered, will it be good? A lot of y'all that have not played this game, this game actually is amazing game. We love this game, it's come to be one of the greatest games of all times. But for the people that started at Black Ops 2 and AW and Black Ops 3 and didn't get a chance to play this game, this game in its prime absolutely sucked. But it was great because we were used to it. It was something new. And we just, I mean, of course you complained. But now if you're going from Black Ops 3 to this, let's talk about a few things that's probably going to piss you off. One of the things that's going to piss you off the most probably is the fact that you will not have tack mask in this game. And there's actually a perk that gives you three times stun and three times flash. Now, the way people play nowadays is a little bit different than how they used to play, of course. I mean, in its prime, it's kind of went from that tryhard. I mean, there's still a few tryhards on COD 4 still that run around with that. But for the the novice people, the people that are just now getting playing COD 4 Remastered for the first time or COD 4 for the first time, they're going to have some weird stuff rocking. I mean, some stuff that's going to piss you off is stun times three, uh, flash times three. You're going to have three stun grenades you can throw and no tack mass to get rid of it. You're going to have frag times three and frag times four. Frag times three, you get three grenades. It's no Simtex. You get, uh, when I say frag times four, I mean you have a play, You have players that will run frag times three and then run martyrdom as well. Martyrdom is when you die. Every time you die, like literally every time that you die, you don't have to die a certain amount of times. Every time you die, you drop a grenade. It, it cooks itself when it drop, pulls a pin, it drops, and then blows up three seconds later. I don't know the exact math on that, but yeah. Then you got Juggernaut. Juggernaut is basically stem forever. Like You put Juggernaut on the class, and it just it gives you extra health. That's another thing that's very, very annoying. Um, Last Stand. Everybody hated that in MW2, and everybody still hates it in COD 4. If you're a sniper and you're playing Modern Warfare Remastered, there's going to be kids running Juggernaut Last Stand. Juggernaut Last Stand is the worst thing to play against because it takes three shots to kill somebody if you don't, kill them in, if you don't shoot them in the head. That's right, it takes three shots. I mean, if you shoot them in the body, you're going to get a hit marker from the Juggernaut. Then you're going to get a hit marker to put him in the Last Stand. And then you're going to have to kill him again before he pulls out his M9 pistol or the pistol he has. If he has a Deagle, he's probably going to map you with it because just how OP the Deagle is. Um, another thing, the, I mean, the M16, if it's, if it's the same from regular COD 4, it's going to be absolutely godly, and it's going to be disgusting. Um, those are some things that are, like, going to piss you off when you play this game. This game is not, I mean, it's all not, it's not just sunshine and rainbows. I mean, if you're a, if you're a sniper, you're, you're at a disadvantage, unless you're playing with kids that have nothing but stopping power on, and the variety of shitty perks in this game... <laughs> Add a lot of variety to this game for players who aren't specifically going to snipe. Um, you're going to have kids with Frag Times 4 and Sonic Boom on. Sonic Boom is basically like, it makes everything, makes all your explosives stronger. And then you have RPGs as well. You're going to have a lot, RPG Kamikaze will probably be back. If you don't know who that is, he's the guy who plays COD 4 in his party. And he only uses RPGs. That's it. Uh, there's no Scavenger. There's Bandolier. Which, I mean, that's not that big of a deal. Bandolier just gives you a little bit more ammo. Um, it's basically like starting with a scavenger perk. In the MW2, when you had it pro, it gave you extra ammo to start off with. You can't resupply ammo unless you walk over somebody who's using the same gun as you. But don't think, as a casual player, somebody who hasn't played this game yet, don't think that you're going to come on this game and have the best time of your life. It's not going to be like that. It's not going to be anywhere times that. There's some great lobbies. But that this is this is originally where lobby surfing came into play. Lobby surfing when you go and find when you go and find a different lobby because the lobby you're in is absolutely garbage. And if you're trying to snipe constantly, it's very very difficult. I mean, unless you get headshots all the time, because there's going to be tons and tons and tons of kids running around with Juggernaut and not using stopping power and using Juggernaut and Last Stand just for that extra kill or Martyrdom. It's one of the main perks used in COD 4 is Martyrdom and Juggernaut. That's it. You're going to see that the most is Juggernaut. People who hate snipers, guess what? You have an anti-sniper perk now. 
you have Juggernaut when you play this game, and the kids are going to be so excited about it. That's the reason sniper lobbies actually came to exist in COD 4, because we want to play against other snipers using the same thing as us, and not using Juggernaut or Last Stand or Ruining a Clip or anything like that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Hopefully this was informative, and I'm sorry that this probably pissed a few of you off that have never played this game. It's not all sunshine and rainbows like I said, but I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you later.